Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. First thing I like to do is pick fresh tomatoes right out of my garden. And since this is an Italian sauce, you've got to have Roma tomatoes. Using fresh fruit in the sauce makes a tremendous difference in the flavor. It makes it well worth growing all year long just to put into Italian sauce. Give them a quick rinse. And we're going to just cut each one in half and in half again just so they'll blend better in the blender. And I fill this sucker pretty much to the top and just save a little bit of room for some onion. Some fresh basil leaves. And of course, a hefty garlic clove. Now I'm going to fill this halfway with beef broth. Cap it off. Turn it on. And blend. Take it straight to the stove in a hot pan and pour the whole thing in there. Now we can add our dry ingredients. Italian seasoning which has basil, majorum, thyme, rosemary and sage. And we'll also slap in some oregano. But don't forget your red wine. But don't add too much of that either. A little bit of sriracha is going to give me some heat. Sriracha is that Japanese hot sauce if you don't know what it is. Just give that a good stir. Now it's time for the cream. This is what's going to make our red sauce pink. Hence pink sauce. And I like to dab a little bit of olive oil in there as well. It just helps the flavor. Now we'll add our rigatoni pasta. I like to do it this way so it can fully absorb the sauce flavor through and through the noodle. And then add the Parmesan cheese. And make sure that it's warm enough so that cheese will melt when you stir it in instead of sticking to the bottom of your pan. Now's a good time to taste it. Now it's a little bit acidic, so I'm gonna add some brown sugar. You gotta go easy on the sugar. You don't wanna make it too sweet. Just the right balance. And now that we've got all of our ingredients incorporated, we just wait to reduce the sauce. This will fully cook the noodle and infuse it full of this pink sauce flavor. And as you can see here, that sauce is just perfectly mixed throughout the noodle and we're ready to plate. You don't have to get too crazy with this, but I do like to add some freshly chopped basil right over the top. And in a nutshell, your tomato and cream pink sauce is done. But if you want to see how I like to do it, we're going to add these meatballs. If you want the recipe for these, just click the link here on the side. These are the best. And there you have it. Tomato and cream pink sauce. Right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching. And be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.